Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. You're going to get all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. Dow's up 140, S&P 29, NASDAQ 100, 117. Russell's up 35. Semis are up 59. Tranny's up 151. It's a party going on. Gold's up four bucks. Silver's off six pennies. Lightspeed crude down 67 pennies. Natural gas up 32 cents. Another big move there. She's trading out at 620. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. Actually, let's first begin by reminding ourselves what kind of market are we trading in right now? Well, if we take a look at this, here's your four equity future contracts out here. The ES in the upper right, the NQ in the upper left, the Dow in the lower left, the Russell 2000 in the lower right. Right now, uh, you've got the NQ that's trying to join the party. What party is that? That's called the breakout party. If you take a look at the ES mini and the uh, Dow, yesterday's pullback in both of those was a test of the top of the consolidation that it's attempting to break out of. And that would be very bullish if, in fact, this area holds. Now, you'd like to get the other participants, that being the Dow, the uh, NQ, NASDAQ 100, and the Russell 2000. They, oh, you don't see the chart? My apology. You're just probably looking. Oh, you're seeing the other set of charts out there. Sorry about that. Let me make sure you see this chart here. This would be helpful to you if Stevie could post the proper thing. So there we go. So there's your four daily time frame and the consolidation patterns that are going on. Let's take a quick peek here at our market update charts. And the market update, what we're going to see is the ES Mini right now is trading right into resistance. That's the top of its daily profile. So you do have a new profile that took hold. The top of that profile is 45.74. We've seen price trade above that level. It's really all going to be about the close but if you're wondering why seller a little bit of selling has taken place well it's simply this because you've got that new profile inside the es mini or that would be one of the reasons things won't get really rocking and rolling to the downside until you see that second chart spot volatilx close above the 50-day x minutes moving average currently that's printing at 1821 the nq if the nq closes above yesterday's high it'll do a couple things it'll negate the buy the uh, sell the d point pattern it'll negate its td9 count so what you're watching for here is 15, 7, 17, 50. Right now we're trading at 15,701. U.S. dollar index looks like it's getting ready to pull back the test support. That would be 93 dollars and 12 pennies. Gold hasn't moved a ton, nor has silver. Lightweight crude has tested and rejected the bottom of its daily profile. That's support, folks. And that is a key level. If price does not break through that level, then this is one of those buy the, you know what kind of dip out there. Uh, 81.24 is the key level to be watching, folks. Stay tuned for the Trader Z show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, we want you to have a wonderful one around here. And uh, tune back in. But the uh, Trader's Edge Show will begin in just a few moments. We'll be right back.